So as we delve a little bit deeper into the uh, previous scene that you just watched, we're going to look at a frame by frame play of the motion that we saw. So here in layer four, the uh, first frame in this case, we see kind of the, uh, the initial starting point here. And then the first uh, bit of motions introduced is immediately at layer eight or frame eight, which we see right here with the movement of my head. This is actually me. And we can just show this quite simply. So there's the head and also it kind of has it comes <clears throat> across the y-axis in a negative fashion. It's also linear with a slight curve into the positive aspect of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, x-axis here. But it's also this rolling motion that you see, and, it, and you know it appears to be pretty smooth. We can kind of play that again. So here, if we come back to layer four, then it rolls his the head rolls in there, and then okay, as we come into layer eleven, we start to see. Uh, we start to see the first bit of really extreme motion as the back comes into play here. We'll uh, clear those out of the way. And then, you know, here's the back. Here's my back, rather. And it comes into, it comes into play here as I kind of move out of the, uh, <clears throat> out of the uh, actual frame itself and kind of start to disappear, leaving this negative space behind me. And then moving further, we see a little bit more motion. You know, my head in the next scene will start to duck out. So you see that happen there where it's just my back. And then, you know, we get to layer 26, where my back's moved just a little bit again. It's probably not that noticeable, but we'll take out a layer 11 here so you can kind of see what happened. And we're left right here with this, with this bit of motion here, where <clears throat> it actually continues to uh, move down the frame and out of the frame. And you'll see from, you know, kind of this lower left corner in the next frame, you're going to see my hand kind of come up in this linear fashion. It's going to be rather smooth transition that almost actually replicates a change of scenes. So there's my hand and as I said it comes up from the uh, negative as the negative portion of the uh, y-axis comes into play here. There's my hand and <clears throat> furthermore the hand brings in more motion as my joints here extend upward on the uh, y-axis kind of reaching towards the uh, top of the frame here. And then uh, furthermore, in the next scene where it's contrasted, we, we see the uh, hand move again. You saw that little bit of motion there. So we'll clear up this, uh, this viewing frame here. And okay, so we see my hand start to move down now. Okay, so again, it's another one of these rolling, pardon me, it's another, uh, it's a, another rolling, rolling bit of motion here that we see. And we're gonna watch it kind of continue this way, but almost spiral kind of here. A little bit weird shape there, but it's kind of what happens, <clears throat> which we see in layer 62 as the hand comes down. So there's what happened. I'll play that again for you. Hand comes down, okay. And then uh, actually the opposite happens in layer 72 where we see, oh look, the joints again, they move up in this linear fashion, this rolling fashion here. So here we'll watch what happens as my palm expands outward. <clears throat> really giving this blow to the scene here, which I would actually say is maybe a little bit of a uh, jerky transition, just because it's so uh, instantaneous, if you will. And then as we move into layer six, we see the hand kind of just moving throughout the frame, kind of, okay, in this case, it, it came closer to the, uh, the actual uh, camera, which is probably eh, a smooth, but also jerky, kind of like a hybrid between smooth and jerky in the sense of the motion that we saw replicated there. And then uh, in layer 82, or frame 82 rather, we see the hand move again. So kind of just play that for you. So whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then the hand comes into play here in this final scene where it's just kind of stopped, it's more focused. It's almost look like it's grabbing the camera. It's kind of providing this like closure, but actually in reality, the, the, uh, the, um, the hand starting to actually move out of the frame backwards and we'll eventually move down the y-axis and we will return with my body however that's not been included in the scene so let's just do like a little bit of a recap here and kind of go through all the motion you kind of seen all the uh seen the way in which it flows now so we'll just kind of take a look at everything here so okay let's look at this from frame two so let's we'll clear this real quick. So we come in the starting scene and then, you know, layer eight occurs, the head moves down. 
Okay, now the head moves down further. You see the back come into play. The back moves even further down, again, in a rolling fashion. And then you're kind of left there with this. And then the hand starts to emerge, comes across the frame, kind of expands outward, starts to move down again. Okay, <laughs> it starts to move across the screen, but also expand where it expands outward. And you see, the, oh shoot, there's your hand, really big. Okay, and then the hand starts to zoom in closer and closer to the uh, camera's frame of view. And then finally in layer 83, it starts to come out again. So that's what you see there. And in reverse, same thing occurs. 